zinc oxide based varistors are considered very reliable in terms of operation with low failure rates still one can't disregard the end of life event of lightning arrestor which depends on product selection with respect to electrical mechanical environmental stress as well as operational maintenance at site some of the potential reasons for lightning arrestor failure includes severe energy stresses related to temporary over voltage phenomena or lightning and switching events mechanical stress on mov due to improper mounting moisture ingress and aging of internal parts resulting in dielectric failure which causes the end of life event for lightning arrestor hi my name is shatadal das today we will look into how does the lightning arrestor behave during the end of life event and which design features helps it to survive the same the end of life event of a lightning arrestor happens as a pressure relief which is caused due to short circuit with respect to short circuit performance two different surge arrestor designs have to be considered type a and type b design type a designs are the ones in which a gas channel runs along the length of the arrestor unit and fills more than 50% of internal gas volume whereas type b designs are the ones in which no enclosed volume of gas or having internal gas volume filling less than 50% of the total internal volume so to put it in simple manner the type a designs are porcelain lightning arrestor and hollow core composite lightning arrestor and the type b designs are mostly direct molded composite lightning arrestor in the type a design a gas channel runs all along the length of the arrestor the whole process starts when a surge event occurs and it reaches the lightning arrestor getting diverted to the ground as the surge passes the mov starts heating up and if the heat generated is greater than the heat dissipated stresses are created in the mov stack then the weakest metal oxide varistor fails first creating an additional stress on the rest of the mov which fails as a domino effect during this process an arc initiated in one of the mov develops into an arc all along the mov stack length generating a pressure this pressure ruptures the weak spot on the top and bottom side of the surge arrestor housing then hitting the aluminum end flange then subsequently getting diverted to the outside outside then arc from the top and the bottom flange meet each other neutralizing the charge cloud and thereby quenching the arc for type a design to successfully clear the pressure relief testing it is highly important to ensure the porcelain housing is strong else use an additional frp tube these two items improve the bursting strength so that the lightning arrestor doesn't collapse structurally the next important aspect is the top and bottom side weak spot which are the pressure relief plates which have to be weak enough to fail only when an arc hits it but should not allow moisture ingress finally the flanges should be shaped in such a way that after rupturing the pressure relief plate the gases flow to be diverted smoothly outside so the shape and strength of material for the flange should be appropriately designed this is an illustration of different construction of surge arrestor i tried to capture all major surge arrestor manufacturers except for tri delta and ge now moving to type b design they have a small air column or no air column present within the arrestor the initial process of mov stack failure and the arc on the mov stack happens in the same way as it happened in the type a design followed to that the interface of the housing and mov starts disintegrating due to the heat and subsequently weak spot gives away for a safe rupturing please note that 
The weak spot is deliberately created during the design stage with an intent for safe pressure relief. It is also ensured that the tensile and cantilever performance of the arrester is not compromised. After the rupturing, when the hot gases starts coming out, an arc hits between that point of rupturing and the nearest terminal point. Slowly, the arc develops, extending between the both the terminal points and keep moving in the air till all the plasma gets neutralized or the fault current stops due to the breaker operation. In type B design, for successfully clearing the pressure relief testing, it is important to release the internal pressure to outside as quickly as possible, but at the same time, keep the mechanical integrity of the product. In order to do so, the orientation of glass fibers plays a vital role. And second, the positioning as well as size of the weak point, which helps in venting out the hot gas during pressure relief. These are some illustrations of different construction in Type B polymeric arrester. Now we have come to the end of this video. I hope this video was informative. Please like this video, give your valuable comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.